Hey guys, today I'll be reacting to every fictive screen reference in Smash Ultimate Brawl Fighters by Aaron Itmar. So let's get right into this. So I am really curious about how this will be. Super Smash Bros. Brawl, so let's get to it. But first, it would be awesome if you guys could subscribe. It really makes the serotonin... Are you kidding me? First, we have Meta Knight's left victory pose, where he slashes the Galaxia a few times. After this pose ends, Meta Knight twists up and goes off screen. Yeah, I think that's from the original so games, right? Meta Knight's defeat animation, which has been his defeat animation in pretty much every Kirby game since Kirby's Adventure. It's kind of weird that they chose his defeat animation for one of his victory poses, but I guess this was really the only place that they could use it. His up victory uh. pose sees Meta Knight fly in, land, and strike a pose. The pose Meta Knight lands in is rather similar to his render for Smash Ultimate, with some minor differences. Meta Knight flying like his hand being on screen could also possibly be the final remnant of Meta Knight's ability to fly back in the Brawl days. His current up special isn't really flying, while this victory certainly is, so it could be a nod to his former up special. Finally, uh. we have the right victory, which is largely an original pose that sees Meta Knight slice with the Galaxia. Meta Knight's victory theme is a more rock or metal style remix of the Kirby Dance theme, which matches up with Meta Knight's more edgy persona, as opposed to Kirby's victory theme, which is more upbeat and happy. Next up, we have Hit, the second newcomer for Brawl. For his left victory screen, Pit performs a couple of slashes before striking a pose. The pose he hits is also quite similar to Pit's render for Ultimate, again with some minor Oh, I never noticed there. that. Next up is his up victory pose, where he jumps up and then finishes off with a peace sign while saying victory. The jumping up is original to the animation, but certainly matches up with Pit's personality. The rest of the animation, including the voice line, is inspired directly by the ending of Kid Sorry for my burp. Rising, where Pit does exactly this at the end of the game. Oh, really? For his right victory, Pit spins his bow around before ending it with it facing towards the screen. The spinning is similar to his neutral air in his moveset, or even his side special from Brawl. And lastly, Pit's really? theme is an orchestral remake. I never played Brawl, only at a friend's house. Next, let's talk Zero Suit Samus. The hot one. Our original the sexy one, sorry. Smash, based on her characteristic of being far more agile and acrobatic than when she's in her power suit. Her left pose sees her swing her plasma whip around. For her up victory screen, she uses flip jump, does another flip, and then lands with her blaster at the ready. Finally, her right victory has her stand on one leg while rotating her leg in a big circle and ending with it pulled close to her body. Her victory theme is the same as regular Samus, a bigger remix of the jingle that plays when Samus receives an upgrade in the Metroid series. Okay. Next, we have the Biker Plumber Combo Wario. For his left victory pose, Wario steps forward, pats his belly, and immediately lets a fart burst out while sort of gasping in surprise. The animation continues with him sniffing the fart, I guess to see how bad it smells. While not really Are you kidding me? Specific, it's built off of Wario's waft move and the sort of archetype of the gross guy that Wario fits in Smash. For his up victory, he <laughs> a donut on his bike, shouts out yes, and holds up three fingers. The bike is also taken from his moveset, which itself was introduced for Wario in the WarioWare series. Wario holds Did he up three really fingers, ride a bike in the WarioWare series? I don't know. I don't watch really WarioWare, so. Absolutely lose his mind with laughter, falling over and rolling. Oh my god. This isn't taken from anywhere either, but it totally fits Wario's personality in Smash, like he would just be an absolute dick and laugh at you when he wins. Wario's did he say the D word? I think he did. Brawl. However, it became the basis for the theme of Stone Carving City and Wario Land. Shows. I wonder if he's gonna do a clapping animation, uh, Origins. Probably not. Next up is your boy, Solid Snake. For Snake's left victory screen, he performs a couple of kicks before striking a pose with both hands at the ready for fighting. 
This pose is based on the final boss fight. This from may Gear be cut into three Patriots, parts. Where old Snake fights in hand to hand combat against Liquid Ocelot. The finishing pose I'll is I'll do seven to minutes on this video. Position, or at least and the try. Kick and spin kicks are a part of his moveset used during the fight. For his other oh, yeah. pose, Snake is in his iconic crouched position while sneaking into his codec, saying, Colonel, mission accomplished. The codec is a device used as a means of communication. And it's also a big meme. communicate back to those at base. This function was further expanded upon in the Kodak Easter Egg, with Snake contacting his team for information on who he might be fighting. For his right victory pose, Snake crawls, does his somersault dash attack before crouching and speaking into the Kodak, once again keeping the reference of using this to communicate. Both the crawl and the somersault are used by Snake in the Metal Gear Solid series as a means of moving around undetected. Snake's victory theme is a shortened arrangement of the main theme for Metal Gear Solid. However, okay. Smash didn't originally create this arrangement. Instead, it's been present since Metal Gear Solid 1, with a version of it serving as the VR training complete jingle, and another variation serving as the game over jingle. Okay. Next up, we have Ike. For his left victory, Ike slashes Ragnar. This will be resting it on his shoulder. This the last uh, fighter in this the part, uh, in the first part of the reaction, and I'll do the next reaction victory, like uh, right away af after this recording. This is also one of Ike's taunts, and it could be taken from Ike's Battlestar animation in Radiant Dawn, where the sword begins in the ground before Ike pulls it out. Finally, we have Ike's right victory screen, which sees Ike perform Ether. Ether is of course Ike's up special, but it's also one of the skills that Ike can utilize in both Fire Emblem Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn. Yep. Ike's victory theme is the same as Marth and Roy's, a short rendition of the Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light title theme, which has since become the overall Fire Emblem theme. So okay. next we have Pokemon. Okay, Pokemon. I'll end the video here, guys. Uh, keep a lookout for the second part.